tourist season is about to kick off and we're ready to rent. They might call me racist after seeing this video. Watch the whole thing to tell me why. Am I? Am I not? What's going on? Let's go. Tourist season is here in Croatia. Click like, subscribe, and share. This is the Bon jo Show. This is not your show. We have traded the 905 for G O O B. This is Bon jo Show. Bwah. Comment below of your rentals in Croatia as a tourist or as a homeowner renting to tourists or as a tourist coming to Croatia. Has it been good? Has it been bad? Was it above? Was it below expectations? Comment below. Remember, we love to hear from you. What up, people? This is Bonjo. This is going to be our second year renting our accommodations here in Croatia. I wonder if any of you guys had a dream of moving across seas renting starting a business starting a new life starting over like me well i'll tell you what renting the business there's a lot of up and downs a lot of interesting things i'll tell you the good parts and the bad parts of renting obviously the good part is making money having a self-sustaining business that's always a good part but the other good part i want to touch on mostly in this video i don't want to get into the taxes and uh all this stuff all the paperwork of it all i want to get into the good parts and the bad parts of renting to tourists now the good parts and the bad parts both are the same thing it's meeting people sometimes you meet good people sometimes you meet bad people sometimes you have good experience sometimes you have bad experience sometimes a guy will come here for a night sleep not mess up anything and leave at five in the morning so you don't even nothing you know nothing you don't barely have to clean anything but you have to clean everything I'm gonna touch up on the good experience the good people I met this guy named Daniel and his wife they were from the Netherlands uh, they were beautiful souls they were interested in the culture getting around easy to deal with love the accommodation didn't hustle or fussle or bustle didn't ask for anything didn't you know they were just beautiful guests beautiful guests Daniel what a beautiful man good guest right there uh, but this next one I actually have a video of him he's a Bosnian war vet and he moved to the Netherlands also so this is another guy he moved to the Netherlands he's actually uh, some sort of chiropractor where they use this little hammer and like I guess get your vertebrae back together or in line again I really don't know but we got a video of this check this video out For the first time when I'm dry your hair, it's so it's stiff. Stiff, yeah. <laughs> eh, I like it. Look, look now. Yeah. <laughs> You look like a toy now, huh? Much <laughs> Yeah, I can see the blue chair now. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> this guy's the best. You're a new man now. Yes. Stand up. This way. Look. No. Now you is no. full yeah. and this is before was for you normal this. Yes. But now it's normal this. Yes. It's not bad, but that feels yeah. better too. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. That is first one. Last one, 63 ch chambers. Yes. If the first one, this one, everything. Yeah, so if the first one's twisted, yeah. everything's twisted. Everything's twisted. Perfect, huh? <laughs> so, but not all day. For you, it's normal this.
Nah. I wonder how far she can look back. It's pretty cool. Feel, feels like it works so far. I know. <laughs> and it's not mag. It's not magic. No, no, no magic. That is just. It just, just yeah, it's just, back. just you science. You had uh, on your back on the swivel. How far you can see? I can see the second chair. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I can see. Nope. Okay, I can see the the top of And yeah, legs now it's safe. Yeah. I can let let What can you see over there? The the pole. The slide. You can't see the slide. Yeah. Yes, not totally. Yeah, take your breath, you know. Same uh, stop clean uh, cleaner uh, than it is full. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You have to breathe through here. Whole stomach, huh? Yeah. I actually never seen this really. But now nobody <laughs> do it like me. No. They're doing with apparat. And he knows what he's doing because he's using his own tools, not the apparat that they give you. What is more important when I'm doing do this, I feel how uh, uh, strong it will schedule and yeah. how much I have to put. Some people has uh, biggest and for me it's enough just to do it and I feel. Yeah, so it's all by feeling. It's it feels uh, relaxing though, eh? Yeah, yeah relax. <laughs> because here is coming uh, arteries. Yeah. Animal. Yeah. To your brain. Yeah. If if you are here, it's Dracula bite here. Yeah, Dracula bite the head. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because too much blood. <laughs> artery. Yeah, Ar artery. Yes.
the head banging. That's beautiful. Enzi. Okay. <laughs> I never, I never done so. <laughs> okay. Enzo, stop moving. Stop moving. Ends in. <laughs> now, what a wild dude. Would you guys let that guy hammer on your neck like that? I mean, don't judge a book by its cover because that guy was a beautiful human, but he does look like someone maybe you can't trust, but. He was beautiful. I don't know if it worked. I don't know if it worked. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if it worked. Mickey said right away it didn't work. Me, I felt like a little bit, it felt nice, you know, but I mean, never let a man hammer a, a piece of wood into your neck. I don't think that's good, especially if he's not licensed because he said he learned it all by himself and he doesn't have to be licensed. But yeah, that video was pretty funny, I think. But there's a uh, bad parts of renting. So in the winter, I tried to rent to tourists or local tourists in the country of Croatia or workers and I try to give them a discount and I try to raise, lower it down so they can all stay and they can all stay for cheap right but I rented it to this one Croatian man his name is Dom and he said yes I'll rent your both both your rooms out I said okay no problem he rents them out little did I know he packed them with six migrant workers, six migrant workers in each apartment. Now, mind you, they're studio apartments. So six full-grown men, migrant men, they destroyed the apartments. I cleaned them up, but here's a little video and some pictures of what they did to the apartments. And it was way worse because I actually halfway cleaned everything. And then I had the idea because I was just so mad. I was just like, oh, you know, and um. Mm. And then I, I was just so mad. And so I videotaped it halfway after cleaning it because I had to get ready for the next guest. And it smelled for weeks and weeks. So here's the video and the pictures. This is the state of this room. It's not so bad, but it just reeks of pure body odor and cigarettes, which is brutal. It's hard to get out. I should have filmed the other room because it was brutal, but I was just so mad. That it was just so dirty and disgusting and stained. It was, it was a brand new kitchen. It smelled brand new in the whole apartment because everything was brand new. And now it just has this odor. But look at this. This is the state of this room, how they left it. Look at this. Like, how did they even get all this stuff everywhere? Like, you know, beer cans everywhere. This is like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like pure, like, this white substance everywhere. I don't even know what it is. And just feel it. Look at this. Look at this. Like, come on. You know what I mean? Come on. And this one isn't even bad. Look at this. All the oil stains. All of it. Like, and it just reeks of cigarettes. And it clearly says, no smoking in here. So, and I'll show you. I clean up the other one. The other, this one was way worse. But it still smells in here. Like, they got chipped walls. They got stains on the walls again. These guys were filthy. This white was all covered in like yellow curry stains. Uh, it was awful and it still smells like that. Like disgusting, but for the most part, I cleaned it up. I still have the doors open. It's been two days now and it still smells so bad. I'm not even exaggerating, it smells so bad. So given these guys, I wish there was some way that you could say no to some people you know but it sounds bad it sounds bad if you say no and it's not worth the money honestly it's not 
especially workers, they're like, can I use your washer machine? Uh, no, then my washer machine would be compromised as well. Can't be having that. But it's pretty clean in here as you see. But the other one, and this was a new top. It's still pretty new, but still it smells, jeez. Just disgusting. Look at this, black like ink everywhere. Look at this, all over the toilets, all over the toilets, all over here, all over here. I don't even know what that black substance is. It looks like ink. And look at this, ruined, a floor mat. Ruined from these idiots, these stupid idiots. I'm gonna complain right now about them. Wow, wow. I've never had guests like this that are so disrespectful and don't respect things. These guys never be allowed. I don't care. That's terrible. Terrible behavior. They should be ashamed. And anybody that brings this to anybody should be ashamed. Another fun fact about these guests, they left a mound of dishes, just rinsed them off and pretended like they were all washed. And they stole the dish soap. They don't even know how to use dish soap, but yet they steal it. And <laughs> I mean, I'm making a joke out of it kind of, but I'm actually mad. Like they stole dish soap. It's not even worth entertaining them to stay at your place. So this is a warning. All those migrant workers, you got to watch out for it because they don't respect nothing. They don't respect anything. And I've already did it like five times. And it might sound bad, but it's just the truth. It's my truth. You can't tell me my truth is not truthful. They might call me racist for this, but I'm telling you guys, I will never rent to migrant workers. If I see them, I will give them a refund and deny them at the door again. There's no chance in heck that I'm letting them stay again. I rented it to them three times, and three times they destroyed the apartments, like completely destroyed. They have no respect for anything. Maybe it's a culture thing, I don't know, but migrant workers, not welcome. I'm sorry, that might sound harsh, but it's just the facts. Three out of three, what's the chances? Yeah, how about that? That was just a little bit. What do you guys think? Am I overreacting? Or is that brutal? That's brutal, that's, rem remember. That's halfway, more than halfway cleaned up too. So they ruined everything. They stole dish soap. They stole a bunch of things. So yeah, that's a bad experience for me three times in a row. I'm, you know, fool me once, fool me twice, fool me three times. Damn. Now it's cut off, cut off. I see it, reject it right at the door. But overall, it's been a good experience. We mostly get really good people. We got some Norwegians upstairs. They're beautiful people and nice. Um, yeah. It's been a good experience. This is our second, this is actually our first full year of renting departments out completely. So good luck to us. Hopefully we make some money. Hopefully we save up. Hopefully it goes good. And uh, if you guys want to know information about the taxes and all this kind of stuff, I will make another video. Leave a comment below and I will actually make another video about all the taxes and what you got to do and what you got to expect and the steps you got to take, the process of getting it all together, the business. Uh, yeah, that's a headache all in its own and that's a whole new video, but overall it's been good We've been making money. We've been happy. We've been at home And we've been meeting lots and lots of people. I met this one guy named Chris actually He's actually a cinematographer and he makes videos and he makes documentary style videos in Germany And he stayed here lovely gentleman Chris Chris what a great guy man uh, hopefully I get to see that guy again. Hopefully I get to see lots of these guys. We met these Ukrainians. Ukrainians and Bosnians are the the best people. Those are by far the best people, I think. Polish have been pretty good. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like this. If Croatians rent this house, rent the apartments, and they see that I don't speak Croatian and I speak English, they kind of give me a thumbs down and they, I don't know, it just feels like they just don't like me because of that. Like, you know, like, how dare you come to our country and make a business? Ah, yeah, it felt like that, but I'm Croatian. I'm actually Croatian, I have a passport, I have citizenship, my son has citizenship, so we're Croatian, I just don't speak the language. So am I Croatian by language or by blood? You know, language never made anybody Croatian, it's by blood. So there's that, and uh, yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame to do that. But that's how, that's my experience. You can't tell me my experience was wrong, but that's how I felt. 
Um, but hopefully you like this video. Comment below. Always interesting. Tell me your experiences. Tell me what people you like. A lot of people say Polish people and English people get drunk and get too rowdy and party and ruin things. I haven't had that experience yet. They've been all lovely. But let me know what's your worst experience and what's your best experience. Renting or renting apartment as a owner or as a tourist. Tell me what what kind of experience have you had going to Croatia and renting it? Was the owner weird? Was the apartment undone? Was it dangerous? Was it not finished? Was it beautiful? Was it above expectation? Was it below expectations? Comment below, let me know.